four years of full-time RV living and we have this much space in our basement, how do we do it? Well, stick around because we're gonna talk all about basement storage and organizing tips. Hey everybody, welcome back to Why Wait for all of you who already subscribed to the channel. And if not, we appreciate you joining us. I'm Chris and today I want to talk to you about, well, basement storage and organizing. We've been full-time RVing for four years and I just wanted to share with you some tips that may help you guys out uh, with storage ideas and ways to just kind of keep the basement neat and tidy and have all this extra room down here so it's not such a mess. So let's go ahead and get to it. I'm just going to give you kind of a quick tour and just talk about some things that I do to make the basement, well, more organized. Let's go. Now, of course, everybody's basement's going to differ from size and shape, and it's gonna depend on whether you're a full-time RVer like us, or maybe you just go out on the weekends, it's gonna differ on what you need to carry with you. Obviously, as full-time RVers, we usually carry quite a bit, but I will say that we do have a storage unit close by, and sometimes we do cycle through what we carry depending on where we're going and what trip we're on. So sometimes our basement's actually a little bit less because we do put stuff in the storage unit. But let's go ahead and jump over to what I call the water side or the driver's side of the basement and go from there. Okay, now this pretty much makes sense, but on this side of the basement, I like to keep all my water connections, anything sewer related, water related, all kind of things like that. And I have this three drawer shelf kind of system right here, and this really helps out with organizing. I label everything that's in here. I also keep my electrical supplies, meaning my 50 amp uh, dog bone connections and all that on this side of the camper as well. Again, because, well, all of that is on this driver's side of the camper. So always just try to keep everything usually on each side of the camper that's more convenient and used more on that side of the RV. Now, I do like to keep some open space here because on travel days, we have the Anderson uh, red jack box, as you can see, and all six of those stack really nice and convenient right here in this space. But down here, I keep uh, anything electrical, electrical cords, fasteners, bungees, dog bones, anything like that is stored in this drawer. Over here, we have salt for the water softener, uh, spare towels, extra water filters, um, sewer parts, those are those are clean by the way, those haven't been used. Always keep any kind of sewer connection like this, I recommend in another tote or bin. Uh, this one's brand new and hasn't been used yet, so when it is time to break down our sewer connection, I have a little bin and tote that I do put those in. And then up top, all kind of water attachments and anything plumbing. So I have some cleaning uh, supplies up in here, but you can see I have a lot of uh, water quick connects, different kind of connections for my water, I have plumber's tape, anything like that. And we have some extra clear pecs back here and we have some shark bite clamps. So if I need to do any kind of water repair, I have extra clamps, various clamps in here. I also have various fittings and things like that all stored right there. I also keep a few buckets over here. I have a five gallon bucket, a plastic bucket, and a little metal bucket, extra rags down below, uh, car cleaning supplies, some other cleaning supplies. And then over here, we have a big tub of dog food, uh, Corbin's fishing supplies, and you can see some more PEX water, uh, extra PEX piping right here. And then I just keep an extension cord handy and some rope because, well, you always need rope around the campground. That's pretty much it for this side. It's pretty basic, but everything I need is all organized, labeled conveniently. I can find it and that's a big thing is staying organized in these basements. I do also recommend at least keeping one set of uh, general locks or pliers or something similar, some sort of wrench over here for your water connections. Now, as you can see, I do use these quick connects all over my RV, so I don't have to worry about it too much. I can just pull these off. Um, I pretty much have water connects all over my whole water system, but it's still handy to have a wrench over here because once in a while you will need to use a wrench to connect some kind of water connection. So I thought I'd jump over here to the front baggage storage real quick or the front compartment. Now a lot of you are going to have a generator in here. We do not have a generator. Um, you're usually not going to get too much storage in here if you do have a generator and you have to be careful what you store in here because when the camper is going down the road, things are moving, you don't want anything important getting beat up or hit. So as you can see here, we have our hydraulic fluid and all of our hydraulic lines, electrical lines. Uh, we have some more up here that goes to our, uh, you know, slide outs and things like that. So you want to keep all this protected. You don't want things moving around and jostling in here. So what we did was I installed these D-rings all over the place in here, as you can see right here. 
Uh, we got one, some up there, down there. We have them on the walls over here. So that way, when we are going down the road and I do decide to store stuff down here, we usually have a lot more down here because when we hit the road, we go in storage and we have a couple of totes that we keep in here. And we stack them pretty high, but we strap them all down. That way it's strapped down nice, tight, secure, and I don't have to worry about anything jostling or hitting my hydraulic lines or messing with any kind of electrical component or anything like that. So over here on the main side of our basement, we obviously have the mini fridge, but to be honest with you, as full-time RVers, even though this takes up a lot of space, this is almost a must for us. Having an extra area to store drinks, water, sometimes even food when the other fridge just gets too full, this really comes in handy. Plus when you're outside and you just wanna grab a quick water, the access for the kids and having it right here is a big plus. So while it does take up some room, uh, we absolutely love that and we've had that since day one. Now over here, we have a little three drawer system again and have things kind of labeled. And this is going to be mainly the stuff that you're gonna use on an everyday basis that you want quick, easy access to. And I'll kind of show you a few things I have in here. And because I don't wanna be getting way back in there too deep digging for something when I just need something quick. So this is gonna be all my quick go-to items. So down here you can see I got the multimeter, staple gun, I got my plastic scrapers, a couple locks and Velcro. Here's something if you guys don't have a fuse kit. Having some spare fuses on hand and close by, that's gonna be a, a lifesaver right there when you got a fuse that blows. So uh, I, I keep a couple little um, Allen wrenches in here, some more fuses, but that's basically what's in this drawer. Some quick little handy, fast to grab items. In here, I keep a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips head screwdriver. I mean, these are the two things, if anything, the two tools I'm gonna to use the most. I keep those quick, easy, handy. We have some fire starters. We have some magnetic grill lights, safety glasses, a tape measure, just some sandpaper, uh, little black stone drip pans, and then a couple of microfiber cloths. Again, things that you're gonna use all the time that you don't wanna be digging around for. I have a whole tool bag, but usually a flathead and a Phillips screwdriver and a tape measure, or those are the three most common things I end up grabbing, so I keep those handy. And finally, up top, you can see tape bags, twisties, zip ties, and that's pretty much what this is. We have some spare trash bags for outside trash can, all the different kinds of tapes I use and why we have them, and we have some zip ties and twisties in here. Um, I will say, if you want to know more information about a lot of this stuff or why we keep these certain tapes on hand, go check out this video right here when we talk about all the RV accessories and essential items that we carry as full-time RVers. We even get all the way down and break it down to every single kind of tape and why we carry it. So it's a good video to watch if you guys haven't seen that one. So that's real nice having those little items handy close by. I don't have to crawl in the basement to get any of that stuff. And I can also reach all of my cleaning supplies and chemicals and lubes and things like that. That's what we have right there as well. Again, handy, quick access. That's kind of how you want to set your basement up. And as we get deeper, it's more or less stuff you don't use on a daily basis. So let's go ahead and check out uh, just kind of the lubes and cleaners that I have in here. These little stackable bins are really convenient right here for this. And again, I'll put Amazon links to everything we talk about today if you guys want to check any of this stuff out. But these come in handy. I can carry all my cleaning products, my Gabe's Pride RV Streaker, my Bow Shield T9, anything like that that I need. You can see I got a thing of 303 UV protectant right here, uh, some more Gabe's Pride RV Streaker, just some of the more common things I use. And then we obviously have some latex gloves down here, some more cleaners, paints, and things like that. But I can access all this easy uh, going down the road. I don't have to worry about any of these. Four years, this stuff just sits in here. Nothing moves around. I actually don't have to strap any of this down, so that's that's great. And then uh, we have a little handy paper towel holder up here to keep some shop towels. Again, convenient. I can quick grab those. And then on the wall, we have various chargers mounted to charge some of these uh, Ryobi batteries and Craftsman batteries because we carry, as you can see, a uh, impact driver, a trimmer, a blower mounted on the back wall, things like that. And as we come around the corner right here, you can actually see that I keep this little Blackstone caddy with me. I just pull this out when it's time to grill. I have all my Blackstone stuff in there, some more 303 protectant, and then some more Blackstone items right here. But <clears throat> it's this wall I wanna talk about right here because what's behind this wall is important. And that's all of your plumbing and important things like that, your water heater. So you want access to this wall. So what I did was I went ahead and put two hinges on this wall you can see the other one right there. And then I put this right here so we can just pop this up and now we can just open this wall up. So now I can just swing this wall open with everything on it. And now I have access to 
all of my plumbing, anything I need to get back here. And a little trick, we do keep these water alarm detectors down here. You can see them right here. And these things are excellent because you just keep them down here. And if any water gets into these sensors right here, they're gonna go off, make a bunch of noise. And they're gonna let you know if your pump's leaking, if you have any drips coming from up in here. So we have a couple of those uh, strategically placed down here. I do recommend checking those out if you haven't. These have come in handy. We've actually been saved a few times. And I do just keep a sheet pan down here. Uh, we've had a few small drips. This was in the past, but now I just keep it down here just for safety reasons. And I figured if any of this stuff is going to drip and leak, most of it is all going to end up in the pan, which will then end up back here by this sensor. And then this thing will go off. These are really loud. It's not fun when they go off. They're definitely loud, but I definitely recommend. It's not fun when these go off. They're definitely loud but that can uh, be a game changer to save you from a major leak that you may not otherwise know about. Now, as we turn our attention away from this wall and pan around, you'll see we come over to my tool section. And again, we have two big plastic bins. They stack up right here, heavy duty, um, four years. They've never cracked, they've never moved. I don't have to bungee them down. And this is where I keep all my tools, torque wrenches, levels, my tool bag when I need more things. Um, we have some tire pressure monitor system there, a drill. You can see we have some sockets and wrenches over here. We have a uh, brad nailer. We have a little hacksaw. And uh, I think that's even a little Dremel kit. So just various things like that. They stack up in here real nice. They don't shift. They don't move around. And it just keeps them nice and organized. And around the corner, just another spare five-gallon bucket with Reflectix, um, some Eternabon tape, some other repair job kind of stuff. This is a little box of sealants I carry, ProFlex RV, uh, 1021 self-leveling lap sealant for your roof. I keep those over there. Now that's pretty much it, guys. That's how we pretty much keep the basement whenever we get to a camp. Now you may be asking about, well, what about travel days? So that's where all this big open extra space comes in handy. Look at all this floor space. So much aerobics in here. So many activities. This is where all the lawn chairs, our fire pit, our Blackstone grill, and all that stuff goes on travel days. And then obviously anytime you get anywhere, that's the first thing that's usually going to come out and go outside, which always leaves us a nice open basement for working area and easy access to everything. So there you have it. Some of our basement storage organizing and tips. Now comment down below because I wanna hear about some of the things you guys do for storage and organizing in your basements, some little tips and hacks that you do to help keep things secure and store extra stuff down there. As always guys, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next week and get out there, start your full-time RV adventure because why wait? We'll see you around.